What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Stage Panel 864 LED Pro Stage Wash Light. As you can see, it comes with the light itself, a power con to three prong power cable, and a power con link cable. The light comes with a bracket attached that we can use to place it on the floor, angle it in different positions, or to mount it onto a truss. You can even loosen the knobs on each side of the light to angle your bracket and tighten them back up to lock it in place. To mount the light onto your truss, you're gonna need a lighting clamp. You can start by taking off the bolt here on the clamp. Then you'll see on the bracket that there are three different holes here that we can use to attach our clamp, but for today we're gonna go with the hole in the middle. So we're gonna take the bolt piece and run it through the middle hole here on our bracket, and then we're gonna screw the lighting clamp back onto the bolt here. So now to attach the light onto the truss, we're gonna loosen the butterfly screw here. Then we can line the clamp up to any open space on the truss mount and tighten the butterfly screw to secure the light onto the truss. So now to power your light, you're gonna take the power con to three prong power cable. You're gonna take the power con end and line it up to the grooves here on the power in socket. Twist it so it locks in place. Then take the three prong end and plug it into a power outlet. So now you can actually power multiple lights at once by taking the power con link cable. You're gonna line up the white end of the power con cable to the grooves here on the power out socket. Twist it to lock it in place. Then you're gonna take the blue end and plug it into the power in socket on the back of your next light. So now this way both lights are sharing the same power so you won't have to run a power cable to each light. But you're still gonna wanna flip on the power for both lights so let's do that right now. Now there are several mode options that we can use with the Stage Panel 864 that we can toggle through using the buttons underneath the LED display on the back. To toggle through all the different modes available, you can use the menu button. From there you can use the up and down buttons to change the value of that certain mode. And you can press the enter button to save the changes of the light. Also by pressing enter on a certain mode, your light will remember the last preset when you turn it off and turn it back on. So now let's go through all the different modes. The A settings will allow you to set the DMX address for the lights, which will allow you to use the lights with a DMX controller, but we'll get to that in a bit. Moving on, we have the CH or channel mode. This is to set the DMX channel for the lights, so you have options of four channel, 11 channel, 32 channel, or 39 channel modes. And we're also gonna go through the differences of each of these modes later on. The capital N settings allow you to set the lights into different built-in effects, and each value corresponds with a different effect. So for example, N000 sets the LED lights to the red color, and as we go up and down, the LEDs will set to different colors or different sequences. You can always check the manual to see which setting activates which color or sequence. The E settings allow you to set the operating speed of all of these built-in effects. So for example, if you have your light set to a sequence like this and raise the value up on this setting, you'll see that the sequence goes a lot faster. And if you lower this setting in the sequence, you'll notice that the sequence goes slower. The lowercase n setting will allow you to set different effects for the middle strobe bar. So setting this higher or lower will make the strobe bar do different things. And then we can use the following C menu to set the speed of this effect. So for example, if we raise the value in this mode, you'll see the strobe bar going through a lot faster. And if we lower the value for this mode, the strobe bar will go across slower. Next we have the sound mode where the lights will interact with sound picked up by the built-in microphone. So for example, if I start to clap, you'll see that the lights change with the sound and it even goes by your voice too. Hello, hello. Now because this is an RGB light, we have three different modes where we can adjust the intensities of the red, green, and blue LEDs. And playing with the intensity of each of these modes will allow you to set customized colors. So for this example here, I have the red LED set to low, the green in the middle, and the blue midway for a customized teal color. So again, the higher or lower you have these settings, the more each color will come out. We even have a similar setting for this strobe bar so we can have that flashing with our customized color. So for example, we have it all the way down now, but the more I raise it, the more you'll see the strobe bar come out. And lastly, we have the T mode, which will allow you to tell what the temperature of the light is. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we can set up a DMX controller to our lights for even more control. So to set the controller to our lights, we're gonna start with one DMX cable. I'm gonna take the male end and plug it into the DMX out on the controller. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the DMX in port on my first light. So now to link up multiple lights together, I'm gonna take another DMX cable. I'm gonna take 
take the male end and plug it into the DMX out on my first light. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the DMX in on my next light. And if I wanted to have even more lights set up, I'm just gonna repeat this process. So next we're gonna wanna set the DMX address on both lights so that they know to interact with the controller. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the A settings on each light and use the up and down buttons to set them to the same DMX address. For today, we're gonna use A001. You can also press enter to have your lights remember this setting. Next, we're gonna wanna set the DMX channel for each light, which will essentially let the DMX controller know how many faders we can use for our setup. So we can either set it to four channel mode, 11 channel mode, 32 channel mode, or 39 channel mode. Using any of these modes is completely dependent on your needs or how much control you wanna have over your lights. So if you wanted to have the basic controls of red, green, and blue along with the strobe bar, you can set the DMX channel to four channel mode, or if you wanted to take it a step further, you can set it to 11 channel mode, where you can control the colors and the other presets available on your lights. You can always refer to the manual to see which mode does what, and what each fader and value will do for your lights. For today's demo, we're gonna set the lights to the 11 channel mode. Again, you can press enter to have your light remember this setting. So next on our DMX controller, we're gonna wanna activate scanner one. And from here, we can go through the different faders and see what they do. Fader one acts as our master fader, which will control the overall brightness of the lights. Fader two activates the strobe for the LEDs. So for example, I have a red LED coming through and if I raise fader two, you'll start to see the strobe coming through. Now fader three allows us to adjust the three to one mode where we have a bunch of different functions that we can use. Each function is activated through different values or where you set your fader. And you can always tell what value you're setting your fader to by looking at the display on your DMX controller. You can always refer to the manual to see which values activate which functions in the three to one mode. So for example, values three to five will activate the red LEDs. And the more you raise the fader, you'll see all the different functions coming through. You can also refer to the manual to see which values activate which preset. Now, Fader 4 controls the speed of some of these sequences, so if I raise that in this sequence, you'll then start to see it go faster. With faders 5, 6, and 7, you can control the intensity of the red, green, and blue background LEDs. So you can have a sequence with one color going on and set the background to a different color. So for example, if I raise Fader 5 during this sequence, you'll see the red coming through. And then for fader six, the green lights, and fader seven, the blue lights. And we can even set these faders to different values for a fully customized color. So I can put in a little bit of red, a lot of green, and maybe a little bit of blue. Now with fader nine, we can control what mode we have the strobe bar set to. For example, we have it set to value 75, where we have a little strip going across. And you can use fader eight to control the strobing of the strobe bar and fader 10 to control the speed of the sequence. And lastly, we have fader 11 that controls the overall brightness of the strobe bar. And remember, you can use fader one to control the overall brightness in whatever mode or color you have it set to. So you can have a sequence like this set up, turn fader one down, and whenever you're ready to get the lights back on, just raise fader one, and you'll have the same sequence. Now let's say you wanted to control multiple of these lights, but you didn't want to set up a DMX controller. You can still do that by using the master slave function. So to set that up, we're first gonna decide which light we wanna have as our master light. So for today, we'll go with this one here. We're then gonna need a DMX cable. I'm gonna take the male end and plug it into the DMX out on the master light. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the DMX in on my slave light. And if you wanted to set up even more lights, you can take another DMX cable, plug it into the DMX out of your slave light, then plug the other end into the DMX in of your next light, and repeat this process all the way down your chain. Next, we're gonna wanna set the master slave lights to the same DMX address. For today, we'll use A001. And now if we set our master light to a sequence, the other light is gonna follow. You can also make other adjustments like the speed of the function, the overall brightness, color, etc., on your master light. And your slave lights will also adjust accordingly. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your stage panel 864 LED pro stage wash light. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.